Say all right to so first and foremost when I give all praises and all glory to Yahweh, Ba Hashem, Me Oshai, Ba Hashem, Makakodash. We see the blood of our sons, Elazar, Great Moses, and Reuel. Our teachers, our pastors, and should our sincere salutations for the accomplishment of pushing the word and all truth and sincerity day in and day out when it comes to the in season and the season with the shallow one. Now, once again, going into our video here, and it's basically touching upon this article where it states why men are becoming more like women. No, no, no. Before going to the article, when you watch how men is today. You know, you know the the acting more feminine. You see these men they painting the nails. You see these men they going out their hair long like women. You know, the straight and they, they, they do not look at stuff straight and they hair putting on makeup, um, wearing on dresses. You know, wearing on woman clothes. You know, I think it was just today I saw a celebrity, right, a a, a rapper, um, and it, he was in one of these news articles with the, with the clothes he wearing on and it's basically woman clothes, right. You he went on women clothes. That is the society that we live in. We live in a time where they, they want these men to become more, more, more feminine, more, more like women. And these men are, 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 are falling into the traps. They want men to be more soft. They want men to be weak. You understand? And when you look up the word man and look up the characteristics that a man supposed to have, you would see he's not supposed to be doing none of these things. Especially when it comes to being a man of the Lord or a man of the scriptures. You understand a man, a man that you're supposed to be. Right? They even put things in the food to where a man, you know, changes his, his, his hormones and so forth. That is to show you how wicked this place is towards where, um, towards a man. You understand? So this article states why men are becoming more like women. It say in, in its recent, in its recent, in its recent special, on the state of American women, Time magazine announced that the gender wars were over and declared a tie. It's no longer a man's world, Time concluded, nor it's a woman nation. It's cooperative by, with bylaws and a constant um, negotiation and expectations that profits be equally shared. Right? Um, you see, I'm not, I'm not so sure in a war, no matter the outcome of, of a certain um, skirmish or battle, the winner is the party who whose attitudes, behaviors, and preoccupations come to dominate the post-war landscape. By this measure, the outcome of the gender wars, if wars they were, is clear women won. You see, men attitudes more and more resemble women attitudes. Right? It's a, it's a men attitudes more and more resemble women attitudes. In 1977, for example, 72% of men believe men should be the primary breadwinners and women should be the primary caretakers of home and family today only 42 percent of men hold those opinions which which happens to which happens to be almost exactly the same as the percentage of women who feel the, who feel that way so this part here it's a men men's attitudes more and more um, resemble women attitudes right which literally that is what going on now you, you see in the men the attitudes become more feminine. They sort of think like a woman. They're acting like a woman. They become way more emotional because a man's supposed to think on logic. A woman think emotional. You understand? Know, <laughs> it, it, and that is just. But now the the you seeing where the men become more feminine, so the attitudes and so forth sort of change, right? But it's say in 1977, for example, 72 percent of men believe men should be the primary breadwinners. And women should be the primary caretakers of the home and family today. Now, when they go to the scriptures, right? Go to the scriptures here. When they go to the scriptures and they go to the ordinances, let me read it. It's First Corinthians chapter eleven, verse one. You say, "Be followers of me, even as even as I also am of Mashiach." Now I praise you, brethren, that ye remember me in all things and keep the ordinances as I deliver them to you. But I would have you know that the head of every man is Mashiach, and the, and the head of the woman is the man, and the head of Mashiach is God. So the head of every woman is the man. So if you had to be the head of something and 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 the head of the woman, let's say is the man, then you have to show yourself as to be a man, and then you have to act, you have to act like a man. You can't be you can't you can't be the head and acting like a woman. You understand? It just wouldn't it just wouldn't make sense. 
right? But we again we live in a society where they want a woman to be the head, and they, ch they want to change the ordinances that was given unto us. And with that, the men become more feminine. They be, they, they sort of think like women. They sort of act like women, just like women. You understand? Now, now these men, you know, is, if it's one of the sayings that these people that that this world have, they like to say, "Well, a happy, happy wife, a happy life." So they, they put a woman above them. You understand? When you when you when you talk to a man, you have to go and ask his wife we, to do something when he's supposed to be the head. As the scripture said, and the head of the woman is the man. Right? The head of the woman is the man. It have no denying that. So the head is supposed to be the man. So if he's the head, you're supposed to understand how he's supposed to be. He's a leader. You understand? Again, let's go and look up the 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 let's go and look up what the character the characteristics of a man and you'll see strength. You see leadership. You see all these things in it. But when you look at the woman, you wouldn't see these things. Right? Um Go to our next scripture, yeah. This is the, this is the book of Ephesians chapter five. I read from verse twenty one. I say, um, I read from verse twenty two. We say, wives, submit yourselves unto your own husband as unto the, unto the Lord. Right? It says, it says, a wife to submit. So if a wife submitted to submit to 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 the um to her own husband, right? You understand that he's the head. She had to do the things that she that that the man say. But again, these men know the attitudes are like women. No, they submitting to the woman. You understand? So, and this is what this is what society and the culture be teaching them today. You understand? I have them thinking that the woman supposed to be above them. As I says, yeah. So, <clears throat> so I was saying before I pause, right before I take a um. Or pause the video. So let's go, let's go back to the chapter. Yes, it's um, Ephesians chapter five verse twenty-two. Say, wife, submit yourselves unto your own husband, as unto the Lord. So if one says a man of the Lord, he's supposed to be acting like a man, and you know you're supposed to be the head. So these, the, you wouldn't you wouldn't be like these men here that becoming like women because they you know you're supposed to show yourself to what to be a man. But in the, in this society. It's literally making these men, especially these youths, be, think and behave like women, have them dressing like women, have their hair long, painting the nails, you know, they're they wearing on the women underwears, the, the skirts, you know, they're they wearing on makeup and these things. Right? And the, 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 don't talk about where Esau doing the test, you know, how men are the, you know, doing tests biologically. No, and, and playing with men hormones and all this other stuff right so it's a um, verse 23 Ephesians 5 verse 23 it says, it says for the husband is the head of the wife even as Mashiach is the head of the church and he is the savior of the body so um, so the man is the head so you just assure that you're supposed to be when you when you call yourself a man, you know, it have a certain way you're supposed to be and caring about yourself. You're not supposed to be acting like no woman at all. You understand? That's these these scriptures are telling you telling you you see head of the woman, so how could it be equal to her? How could it be thinking like her? It just wouldn't make sense. Right? Let me jump to our next script there, you know. Let me jump to 1 Corinthians chapter 16. Um, 1 Corinthians chapter 16 verse 13. It says, Watch ye, stand fast in the faith, quit you like men, and be strong. So it says, Watch ye, stand fast in the faith, quit you like men, and be strong. It didn't say to be like a woman. It didn't say to... to <laughs> And you see they be strong like a woman, be something say to quit you like men, be strong. Because that is what you're supposed to be, a man. You ain't supposed to be no emotional thinker, you ain't supposed to be nothing else, you're supposed to be a man. So you say men behaviors are becoming more and more like women's. Right? It's say um it say in nineteen seventy seven men spent on average only six hours a week doing work, doing housework. 
as compared to 21 hours of um, for women today when it when it comes to a second shift men look at the men look a lot like women men now spend 13 hours a week on housework while women spend 17 um similarly similar similarly similarly right sorry this is some with this title so right 40 years ago the average don draper spent only two hours a day caring for his 19 kids while the average betty devoted almost twice that much time to her kids 3.8 hours per day today betty's kid betty's kid time is exactly the same while Don's has climbed to three hours per day gen y dads have taken it up a notch they now spend more than four hours a day on child care right but again um so it just to show how men are become more the the, the state of men become more <laughs> you know like women right so let me just go back up here and that is and that is basically what is you seeing happening today these men are becoming more what, feminine right so the scriptures say what she stand fast in the feet and quit you like men they are not just by the way the, the, the scriptures the 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 scriptures tell us that we're not supposed to wear the things that a woman wearing, right? So, but these men today they wear they 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 wear what these women doing and do and 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 more, right? So this was the mark why are men becoming so feminine, right? And this this was the answer from someone. They say men men men's average testosterone levels are dropping off a little more every decade. This is a generational problem. It's not just happening as a result of natural agent process there have been no government research that we know of put into tackling this and no interest in solving the problem which to be honest i'm not all at all surprised by estrogen and food wo and water supply as a result of contamination from birth control pills getting into the water supply could be one reason now this piece here we talk about estrogen in the food and the water that's actually a proven fact Right, they could go and look up the research that they did. That they did, I believe they did they did it with the rats or something like that. Um, some tests that they do and they basically let it out in, into society. Right? They could actually go and look up that it's a proven fact. It said there's cultural pushes to make men more feminine, two of course, which I would say are also having a, an effect. A big trans transgender agenda going on right now as well as young boys being put on medications for behaving like young boys because now what they want men to think that they when a man showing that he's a man he become what they want to call it toxic masculinity you understand that you know they put they put they put things in place and it's, as i say here there's cultural pushes in order to put things in place where they, they make a man feel when he when he acting like a man it's wrong you know toxic masculinity and all that um, man um and mannerisms and 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 all this sort of madness that I'm, i say mannerism but i use it in the wrong text but you know what i mean the toxic masculinity you know there's one to say um the next word it is used is um some man think it is it does some man thing i heard them say one or two times right that come to my head one time but that is, you know, the cultural pushes is we hearing it, hearing these women, you see, we hearing it, other, these other feminine men saying it, you know, um, um, toxic masculinity, right? You know, I, I, watch, I watch a video yesterday, I can't remember who shared, where, <laughs> you know, a he, she, <laughs> I hope you catch the phrase I use in a he, she, someone that, that is a man that he don't want to be with women, he want to be with his own sex. Telling other men how to be with a woman, he don't even like woman, but he telling a man how supposed to be the woman. So that is that is the kind of things that happening in this in the society. So obviously, these younger boys, these people growing up in this, they, they want to be pleasers, so they they would act more feminine, right? Um, go to a scripture here. That scripture here.
This is First Corinthians chapter six. I go read from verse nine. Right, so it says, "Know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God?" It says, "Be not deceived, neither fornicators, nor adulterers, nor uh, no adulterers, nor effeminate." Now, when you look up the word effeminate, right? The word effeminate means it's a having characteristics and ways of behaving traditionally associated with women and regarded as inappropriate for a man. So one time the scripture is telling you here, right? Let's say, Know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom. Be not deceived, neither fornicators, nor adulterers, nor adulterers, nor effeminate, nor, e nor abusers of themselves with mankind. Right? It say no thieves, no covetous, no drunkards, no um, revilers. You know, it say no extortioners shall inherit the kingdom of God. So it say it telling you all these things shall not inherit the kingdom of God, and also telling no effeminate. So a effeminate is what it say having characteristics and ways of behaving traditionally associated with woman, and regarded as inappropriate for a man because a man, when he sees certain men behaving like women, it go upset him because now they they acting effeminate. You see a man when not dress, he as a man go upset here because that is not what a man supposed to do. You know, no when I no when a man wear a dress, you know what these women and 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 this 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 so called culture telling them, you know, they express in the self that is expression. You know, let the man express himself. You know, but you, you become more effeminate, and the scripture said, a feminine shall not inherit the kingdom. You can't. So so where the where as it states what. As the first article I was reading states what well, why men are becoming more like women and tell a woman when and all this other bullshit. Literally, hey, the scriptures goes against these things. And a man supposed to be a man, nothing more than being a man. Especially if it's a man of the Lord, that are certain ways he's supposed to be. You know, certain things that how a man's supposed to be. Right? So these culture so don't follow these cultural pushes. Where they want a man to be more like a woman because it's against it against the the words of the Lord. You understand the scripture? The Lord, the, the scripture say, um, "O ye men I have called." Right? That's roughly paraphrasing. So the Lord call upon all men, not men who act like women, not men who think like women, not men who dress like women. You understand? Know, because those kind of men would not be inherit the kingdom of God. Right? So a, hey, with that we give all praises and our glory too. Yahweh, by Hashem, you shine by Hashem, Raka Kodash. We say double and support and elders agree with us. Well, teachers are apostles and shoot. I will say salutations. Holy Akamas are pushing wood and truth and sincerity day in and day out. And I can't see the end season and season. We say shalom.